Right guys, this video is going to explain to you exactly how the Euro Tour of Darts works. Usually it's a 13 stage event which culminates in the European Championship at the end of October. The top 32 on the Euro Tour Order of Merit qualify, playing for a total prize pot of £120,000. So when do these Euro Tour events happen? Well, it's on a weekend we don't have a Players' Championship or a TV Major. It's a three-day event. On the Friday, we have Round 1. On the Saturday, we have Round 2. And then on the Sunday, in the afternoon, we have Round 3. And on the night, we have the quarter-final, the semi-final, and the final. The format is familiar. It's the same as the Players' Championships. It's a first-to-six format. The semi-finals is first-to-seven. And then the final, we move to first-to-eight. These events are also streamed on PBC TV. And the commentators are usually Dan Dawson, Rob Malarkey, Chris Murphy, and Paul Nicholson. Right, so this is difficult to explain, but I'm going to run through it slowly. I'll put the PDC notes on screen and I'll try and talk you through it. The top 16 on the PDC Pro Tour Order of Merit are seeded and put into round two. Should they not win their first game, then no money goes on the relevant orders of merit because they've been gifted a spot in round two. 32 players make up round one. 24 of these come from a two card holder qualifier the day before a Players' Championship event. We have one Nordic and Baltic qualifier, one East Europe qualifier. Two qualifiers from the host nation country and the two highest ranked players on the PDC Order of Merit from the host nation country. Now the same rule applies to these. If they don't make it through round one, then the £1,000 is not added on to their Orders of Merit. Should we not have two players on the PDC Order of Merit from the host nation country, then we have more host nation qualifiers. The final two spots are from an associate member qualifier, so you must participate in either EUK or EUQ school to do this qualifier. And this takes place the day before the Euro Tour event. So I'll put the prize winning for these Euro Tours on screen now, but as you can see, every win is worth double what it would be in a Players' Championship event. So should you be lucky enough to draw a Horse Nation qualifier and get through your first round, you can pick up £2,000 just for making a Euro Tour. So this is absolutely critical for World Championship qualifying and does make the difference between someone who makes it and someone who doesn't. Another huge point about the Euro Tour is that it makes up the immediate reserve list for the Grand Slam of Darts. Should there not be 22 different players who've made a major final, the PDC look to the Euro Tour winners as the next players to enter the Grand Slam. This is the route that Devin Peterson, Joel Cullen and Jose de Souza took in 2020, so this is a really good opportunity for anyone that can win a Euro Tour. To say the Euro Tour has been dominated by one man is the understatement of the century. Van Gerwen's won 32 and made 10 finals in the 82 events. So he's made more finals than he hasn't, which is just crazy. The next best is Peter Wright with six wins, to put into perspective how good Van Gerwen's been on this Euro Tour. So hopefully you now do understand the Euro Tour better than you did when you clicked on the video. These events make up the backbone of the Pro Tour Order of Merit, along with the Players' Championships, and are critical for qualifying for the World Championship. If the video is helpful, please drop it a like and drop a subscribe on the channel, and I will catch you tomorrow for another one, so I will see you then.